<laughs> that was fantastic! <laughs> oh, cool! They're expecting you. Uh, Br Bruce, um... Wow. <laughs> one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. Huge. I think I'm in love. It's it's an odd feeling. And uh are you in love with with me? No. But I hope uh, we can still be friends. So mysterious. You at least got to tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. No, look, you're doing it wrong. Red's the battery, yellow's the starter, spark one on the other. You are literally my hero, Bruce. I mean, wow. Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Harley? Stay out of this pudding. Grown-ups are talking. <laughs> That's a pretty good reason. I like a guy who's good with his hands. I'm just joshing you, rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Never. And I mean, never do that again. Oh, Brucey, I was just having fun. Don't you like fun? Oh, come on, Bruce. Harley was just kidding. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You probably don't like things that go bang too much. After that sad, sad way you lost your folks. Wooden said you didn't want to meet. Now you want to. Bouncing around like a yo-yo don't exactly inspire confidence. What do you want with us? What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? I want to run this town. Just like Falcone. Just like my father. You can help me do that. Uh-huh. Sure. The Playboy's trading his tux for a Tommy gun. Bruce has hidden depths, Harley. Like, really deep. When we were in Arkham, we got into all kinds of mischief. He showed me some of the darkness he's got inside. You don't forget something like that. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushie. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? Nah. <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? Kind of a mismatch. 
raises all kinds of questions. He has his uses. After all, he connected me to you. So you're a puppet master, huh? Poor old Puds, your marionette. <laughs> Maybe you and me are more alike than I thought. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? John vouched for me, didn't he? That's gotta count for something. <laughs> John's easily impressed. Just so you know, Mr. Moneybags, I ain't. You're gonna have to earn my respect. And it's gonna take a lot more than that billion dollar smile. Aw, oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. Stop! What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how he used you, Pud. Just to get to me. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? I never said that. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta stand by your words or you ain't nothing at all. I get it, Bruce. You used me. Because that's the kind of ruthless guy you are. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I told ya. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level. Maybe a whole kingpin of Gotham shtick won't seem so absurd. And maybe, just maybe, I'll vouch for you with the others. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's yours. okay, Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? I'll do whatever I think is necessary. That's how this gets done. Sounds like Bruce has got it covered. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce.
Uh, Mr. Wayne! Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. Is everything okay? I believe that's my name on the building. Which means I don't have to explain myself to you. Oh, oh of course not, Mr. Wayne. I, I didn't... You're checked in, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, this is private property. <laughs> Really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey. You know, I might have pegged you wrong. Good boy. As long as you keep up this good behavior. Give me a hard time. Oh, I might have to go back and finish the job. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a very good guard anyway. I mean, isn't he supposed to keep people out? Maybe getting knocked down will teach him a lesson. Did anyone see you do that? A uh, fancy joint like this probably has cameras. I hope they got my good side. Thought you were gonna wait in the car. Now, Harley figured you'd want some company. I didn't want you to have to do this all by your lonesome. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Mr. Moneybags? Of course. Glad you could join me. Welcome to Wayne Enterprises. <laughs> Thanks, sugar. All this is yours, huh? Kind of blue. Our place has way more personality. I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens, the power plays, the boardroom scuffles. I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. You think I could run a place like this one day? Bruce, I think I'd get quite a kick out of being CEO. You think I could do it? If you keep your head down, work really hard, yeah, why not? Oh yeah, you worked real hard. <laughs> you had a rich pops who stole everything not nailed down. Oh come on, Harley. Bruce's father works really hard at taking other people's money. Gotta give him credit for that. <laughs> hey, hey, pull it together, Puds. All that slushy you drink has got you. I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. They're fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We're gonna revamp this whole place! Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. <laughs> oh. Well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? It's like I'm some kind of punchline or something. Excuse me? gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? 
Your worker bees just mouth off whenever they want. Regina will apologize. Won't you, Regina? Bruce, I... At that? I... Make it feel real. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause offense. Good. More. Make a bag. Please. I'm so... Uh, so very sorry. <laughs> Boy, do you got some guns on you. They're enough to make a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you got under those clothes? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Anytime, anywhere. Just say the word. Oh, boy. It is getting hot in no, 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 here. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what we're doing here. We've got a job to do, remember? We'll get to it, Pud. Don't get your panties in a twist. Wait here, I'll be right back with you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those Batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D wing. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. L let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy! Just a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. A single usable print. All right. 
right, that's a start. Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Getting there. <laughs> One more partial print should do it. I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell him what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Watch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. You've never put my father in harm's way, huh? You've got a secret room full of weapons. And those maniacs you brought here. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. You're full of crap, Bruce Wayne. Every word out of your mouth has been a lie. An honest friend would have come clean at the funeral. But you just told me whatever you thought would shut me up. I lied to protect you, Tiffany. To, to keep you from situations like this. Sure you did, Bruce. You're a real Boy Scout. Whatever else my father did, he sure as hell didn't raise a fool. I'm not sticking around for you to give me up to your psycho friends. Tiffany, don't! Hey! I remember you from the church. Well, how about that? Looks like Brucey boy's got more than just technology in his vault. Keeps his little squeezes down here, too. Just let her go, Harley. I don't think I will. Not without knowing who this vicious little sweetie pie is. I kinda like her, but I don't know whether to smooch her or smash her head in. You gonna tell me who she is to you? Do you know how many people work here? <laughs> I've never seen her before. <laughs> is that right? Well, then you won't mind if I put her lights out for good. <laughs> Oh, no, Harley. That's Bruce's friend. The one from the funeral. You people killed my dad, didn't you? He crashed my father's funeral. And now you're here raiding his lab! I whacked a bunch of people in my time, sugar. But I don't think your old man's on my list. Then again, I sometimes lose track of the name. I can't believe you'd associate with these... with these maniacs! These killers! Oh, sweetheart. Mr. Suit and Tie ain't just an associate. He's a bad, bad man. He wants to be one of us. <laughs> ain't that right, Brucey? Needed some friends to help you run Gotham like your father. I'm nothing like you, Harley. I'm not a murderer. That's not what I wanted to hear.
Not dead. Let her go. It wasn't about her. It was about seeing where he stands. They go easy on him, Harley. Bruce is loyal. He got us the key. He found it in the vault. Right on the counter. Hmm. Is that a fact? Maybe we don't need to kill ya. At least not yet. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Bruce! Are you alright? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. My heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming at Tiffany. I was certain she was going to kill her. That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Alfred, this is hard enough without a lecture. Oh, I'm sorry if you feel this is a lecture. I'll keep my thoughts to myself. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes... Your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry. He'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Y yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your fashion consultant's cover story is going to cause more problems. She seemed to be thoroughly unsettled after your encounter. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. Fix it now, Alfred. Whatever you have to do, just... I don't have time to worry about it. <sighs> Yes, of course, I'll figure something out. Bruce, I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane, but this whole adventure with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful, and good luck. <laughs>